In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a handful of LEP flashlights and comparing their specs, their beam patterns, their throw distances, and some other features. So if you're in the market for an LEP light, this video will show you a few different options and help you decide which one is best for you. Before we dive in, I want to thank Niels Gadgets for sending out the FW1, Killzone Flashlights for giving me a great deal on the Welltool W5, and Lumentop for sending out the Thor 2 V2. If you want to pick up any of the LEP lights in this video and help support the channel, please consider using the links in the description below. And there's also a few different coupon codes which will help you guys save some money. This is the Lumentop Ant-Man and if you're looking for an entry-level LEP that's relatively affordable and extremely pocket carry friendly, this is a great option to consider and it's powered by a 14500 battery. The Ant-Man has an aluminum alloy body with a bit of branding and some crisscross knurling on the tube and a removable two-way pocket clip. There's a rubber rear forward clicky switch on the tail which controls a single output mode. The Ant-Man has a smooth bezel that's easily removable and it has a ring that glows after the light is turned on. This is a shine through style LEP with a convex lens and a 6 watt max emitter. The Ant-Man has a single output of 165 lumens, a peak intensity of 87,025 candela, and a max throw distance of 590 meters. The power lines are just under 300 meters away, and you can see the light reflecting back. The beam has a slightly cool tint to it, and the building by the street is about 150 meters away, and it's doing a decent job of illuminating everything it's pointing towards at this distance, but it does struggle with ambient lighting. In this shot, the Ant-Man is visible with the camera up to about 350 meters, but it's not visible across the street at the shopping center that's about 600 meters away. It's pretty impressive performance from a light this size, but the rest of the lights are much more capable at long distance. We're going to jump up in width and range to the Lumen Top Thor 1, which is powered by an 18350 battery. This version has a black aluminum body and Lumen Top is printed on the tube. It has some gold colored rings, which give the Thor 1 a few style points. And there's some pineapple knurling, which are really nice and grippy. There's a backlit rubber clicky switch on the tail, which controls two different output modes plus a strobe mode. And there's some turbo glow tubes, which glow after they're exposed to light. It has a smooth bezel and beneath that, and the serial number is printed on the head. The laser is located behind the lens and shines through a translucent piece of phosphor and the beam is focused through a convex lens with a max power of 9 watts. The Thor 1 has a max output of 400 lumens, a throw distance of 1200 meters which is roughly three quarters of a mile, and a peak intensity of 342,000 candela. The beam itself is very white and it's very concentrated and there's no visible spill at distance and it's much more visible with the presence of ambient lighting. It could run at this level for about five minutes before stepping down to around 100 lumens. Thor 1 is visible on the Ross and CVS building across the street at 600 meters, but at best it's only visible a few hundred meters further on camera, but it's still considerably brighter than the Ant-Man. Next up we have the slightly larger Lumentop Thor 2 V2 and this is the newly upgraded version. It also has a black aluminum alloy body with a very smooth tube and a gold ring on the tube with some Lumentop branding and a serial number. There's a metallic switch on the tail which gives you access to high, low, and strobe mode and the tail also has a color changing backlit design. Currently it's configured with the 18352 which is much more pocket carry friendly but it also comes with an 18652 which is slightly longer and will significantly improve the runtime. The bezel is smooth, it has a convex lens and this is the shine through style and the laser has a max power of 9 watts. The Thor 2 V2 has a max output of 350 lumens, a max throw distance of 1700 meters which is just over one mile and a peak intensity of 738,000 candela. You can easily see the beam reflecting back off the power poles and even off in the distance at the edge of the refinery at about 500 meters. It can run on this output for about five minutes before stepping down and the tint is on the cooler side. It's easily visible on the building at 600 meters even with a significant amount of ambient lighting and it definitely delivers a more intense beam compared to the Thor 1. Now we're going to take a considerable leap up in size to the Lumentop Thor 3. It has a black aluminum alloy body with some pineapple style knurling on the tube which can run on a 21700 or an 18650 battery. There's a backlit reverse rubber clicky switch on the tail which controls two different output modes and a strobe mode. And there's also some glow tubes and the design appears to be identical to the Thor 1. The head is much wider than the lights we've looked at previously and you can also find the brand and serial number. It has a crenulated bezel with a very wide and shallow teeth, a protective glass lens and a convex lens and this is also the shine through style with a 9 watt max. The Thor 3 has a max output of 400 lumens, a max throw distance of 2500 meters which is over one and a half miles and a peak intensity of 1,562,000 candela. The beam trail is much more visible through the sky compared to the previous lights and it's doing a much better job of illuminating the refinery 
and it's able to cut through all of the ambient lighting with ease. The beam is more on the neutral side, and it's about the same size as the Thor 2, but significantly more intense. The visibility of the beam is much better at 600 meters than what we saw with the Thor 2, and it's able to throw quite a bit further, and again, the ambient lighting is not an issue at this distance. Next up, we have the Mate Minko FW1, which is powered by a 21700 battery, and also has a black aluminum body with some square knurling on the tube. It has a backlit rubber side switch, which gives you access to three different output modes, and beneath the button, you can find the brand and the model. This is the only light that has a charging port, and this one is USB-C. It has a stainless steel crenulated bezel with small teeth, a glass lens, and an Achia WP-RX45, and this is the mirror-style setup. The Mate Minko FW1 has a max output of 562 lumens, a peak intensity of 2,180,000 candela, and a max throw distance of 2,952 meters, which is a little over 1.83 miles. The FW1 seems to completely disregard ambient lighting and is almost blinding at relatively short distances. And the beam trail is also highly visible and it looks a lot like something you'd see mounted on a police helicopter on a car chase. The beam color is more on the yellow side and much more intense than all of the lights we've seen so far. Again, there's excellent visibility at 600 meters and beyond and the beam is slightly wider than the Thor 3. Last but not least, we have the Weltel W5 Thunderbolt, which is the longest LEP light in the lineup. It has a black aluminum body with a smooth diagonal style knurling pattern, and it's compatible with two INR 22500s, or you can also purchase an extension tube for two 21700 batteries. There's a backlit side switch, which gives you access to two different output modes. The W5 also has the largest head of the lights here, and you can also find the model and serial number. It has a steel bezel, a protective lens, and a convex lens, and this is also a shine through style. The W5 Thunderbolt has a max output of 699 lumens, a peak intensity of 1,970,000 candela, and a max throw distance of 2,807 meters, which is a little over 1.74 miles. The beam color is much less yellow and closer to neutral compared to the Mate Minko FW1, and it seems to be doing about as good of a job as the Thor 3 at cutting through the ambient lighting. In this shot, the buildings at 600 meters are easily visible, and it's also visible hundreds of meters further with ease. The beam is slightly wider than what we saw with the Mate Minko, but it's also slightly less intense. Here's a quick look at how the beam shots compare side by side, and they're pointed towards a storage building that's at about 150 meters away. Of the lights, the Ant-Man seems to have the widest beam, but the beam is much less intense compared to the other lights. The Thor 1 is the next widest beam, but they're all very close at this distance. Now the LEPs are pointed towards a building that's 600 meters away, and we've exceeded the throw distance of the Ant-Man, and we're beginning to stretch the Thor 1. The Thor 2 and Thor 3 are still quite visible, but the Weltel W5 and the Mate Minko FW1 are definitely excelling at this distance. Let me know what LEP light is your favorite in the comments, and if you want to pick one up and help support the channel, you can find a link in the description below. And if you want to check out some more flashlight comparisons like this one, you can find links to those down in the description as well.